business, infant. Do you think your toy can slay a god?
vestige. You are safe for now. Something precious to you has been riven from Stonefire's being. I have brought it here for you to reclaim. I congratulate you, little insect. Your sting is formidable. You have bested me and released a thousand times a thousand souls back into the Mundus. For the moment your world is spared, but my grand scheme has only begun to unfold. Excellent. Your power shall prove useful in the coming conflicts. You have a powerful ally. Did you know that she would bring you here? What future role has she to play in this grand cosmic farce, I wonder? The dark machinations of oblivion are far more complex than anything your mortal senses can comprehend. You've made a great and terrible enemy this day. Your world would have been better off if the plain meld had succeeded, had you bowed before me and accepted eternal servitude. I would have protected you. There are worse masters than I. Far worse. You are but a phantom here in my domain, Stonefire. The mortal prophecies of the scrolls have been fulfilled. Leave this place, and return to your pit. Yeah. Your meddling has already cost me too much. A cursed creature of light and flame. This farce no longer amuses me. Your soul is restored. I can see its light within you. And you have saved your world from a great calamity. But know this, mortal. The forces of Oblivion are legion, and the God of Schemes is but a single player in a complex battle for supremacy. You have wounded him gravely. It will be some time before his power is restored. As your enemy fell, the one you call Abner Tharn took Chim El Adabal and fled. He returns to the land from whence he came, the place you call Cyrodiil. The amulet's power has been expended for a generation or more. The Imperial will not be able to use it, nor will he profit from it, though he will spend many frustrated years in the attempt. The tear in the veil between Oblivion and Nern has been repaired. Your world is safe for now. Gone forever. But their memory remains. I can see the light burning brightly behind your eyes. Your friend is a part of you now, just as the strength of the Divines burns like a flame within your renewed soul. Your story has only begun. Molag Ball still has plans for you. In many ways, these events played out to his advantage. And you have attracted the attention of the other Daedric Princes as well. The war between mortal kingdoms is still ravaging your world. But your true enemies are not mortal. If you are to be prepared for the coming conflicts, you must fully comprehend what is at stake. You must live among those you make war upon. Indeed. When you return to Tamriel, go to the place you call the Harborage. My gift awaits you there. It will allow you to travel to other lands and hide your true nature from those who would see you as a foe. 
I have no more desire to keep you here than you had to remain in Cold Harbor. I shall return you to your little den in the wild. Your surviving companions await you there. Are you prepared to leave? Happened. How, how did we get here? I, I remember being overwhelmed, but then I... Right, sorry about that. I called in a bit of help to pull you out of there. I do hope I didn't overstep my bounds. Snow Lily, I... I know, Sai. It's over. It's all over. Well then, happy endings all round. Smashing. Who's got the brandy? Wait. Where is Thorn? Did he survive? He vanished. Ran off, I think. And he took the amulet you chaps found with him. You're not going to get all weepy with me, are you? I mean, I've got that stoic reputation to maintain. What now? For you, it seems there's more to do. For us... We've seen too much, my friend. Been through too much. I think it's time for us to go. Sai and I talked about it a few days ago. What would happen if we both survived? I'd like to go back to the Abbey of Blades with him, and help them rebuild. Maybe someday. It's not as though I'm dropping off the face of Tamriel. And if not, well, I'm sure there's a seat for you in Sovngarde. If you get there first, save me a cold mug of mead. So, oh, this is where our roads diverge. For a time, there is much to rebuild there, and I owe it to Kasura to bring her the news of our victory, personally. Snow Lily and I, well, maybe we shall finally have some time to ourselves. To what end? No, let him return to his Imperial City. He played his role, and that is enough. Grudges are like poison to the spirit. But perhaps, once the Abbey of Blades has been rebuilt, I have never been content to remain in one place for too long. It is not my nature. Eventually I am overcome by the need to endanger myself. Between comfort and adventure, I always choose adventure. I would like that. It has been a singular honor, Vestige. Although I suppose that name is no longer appropriate, is it? Varen would be proud of you. I know we are. Don't toddle off just yet. Might I have a word? I take it you ran into Lady Meridia. Lovely woman. Charming. We get on famously. While you lot were having yourselves an epic row, I gave her a shout, asked if she'd be willing to help us out if things went badly. The trick of it was the timing. With every blow to that Daedric windbag, you freed hundreds of souls. She was able to catch yours before it wandered off. Jolly good trick, that. This is delightful. World saved, heroes gone their separate ways, and this knight has a new mistress to serve. Bravo. Could be happy to smash it. Truly. You know, that Varen fellow was always a good chap, even if he did muck things up at the start. And he did put things right in the end, didn't he? He's still with you, you know. A part of you, really. And perhaps he can continue to serve the land and the people that he gave his life to save through you. That's all well and done, then. There's just one bit of business left. I'm positively chuffed things have gone so well. To be completely honest, I didn't think we had a ghost of a chance. But then, if we went up against overwhelming odds, we wouldn't be heroes, would we? Still itching for more adventure? Smash it. 
Have you ever wondered what would have happened if you'd woken up somewhere else? Washed up on a different beach? My new mistress provided me with the means to help you if you're up for the challenge. Touch Meridia's light and see the world through the eyes of your former enemies. But fair warning, you will no longer be seen as a great champion. Even familiar faces will see you as a soulless drifter lost in an unfamiliar land. What say you? We've got plenty of trouble of our own. Ah! Don't frighten an old man like that! Didn't think you were still breathing when they dragged you out of the drink, but here you are, plain as day. You owe a lot to the crew from Bleak Rock. A shame they didn't find anyone willing to help. Someone named Rana needs aid on Bleak Rock. She asked for volunteers, but we've our own problems in Devon's Watch. No one signed up. Her boss and Lisa is down by the docks if you want to ask about it. Or you can stay here. Either choice means danger. <laughs> 